Hi, this is Peter, the bedwetting coach, with a few tips on getting your toddler out of diapers at night. Over the years of teaching older children to be dry at night, I've found that most of them could have been dry all along if their parents knew a few simple tips to prevent the usual causes of bedwetting, and those are constipation, food sensitivities, stress, and little sisters. Now, it's a good idea to let night training happen naturally. Don't rush it because many older bedwetters were kids whose parents tried too hard to get them dry at night at age two. At age three, most children are ready to learn the trick of being dry at night, but wait until they're motivated. So once the child is excited about wearing underpants instead of diapers, he's ready. To give him or her the best chance, avoid the problem foods. No milk in the evening, no citrus or chocolate in the evening, and use craft products sparingly at dinner to avoid yellow dye. Yellow dye is the one dye that has been proven to bother children's sleep and cause ADHD-like behavior in some children. Have the child drink lots of water in the evening to tone the bladder and clean out toxins. Yes, Water is the only medicine that fixes bedwetting. If a child goes to bed without good hydration, he or she will soon be constipated and dehydrated. The only way to fix that, and it's a good exercise for all small children, are to use the toilet every two to three hours and go fully, completely, and then drink some more water. This causes the bladder to Expand and contract and expand and contract perfectly normally and naturally, and holding is a big deal. Many children have small bladders because they hold too long. Now here's how to stop buying pull-ups. Diaper the bed, not the child. When you want to try for dry, use good night bed pads on top of the sheet. This changes the feeling of the bed to help break old sleeping habits and begin new ones. It's also adequate to catch all of the accidents. A cheaper alternative, and still just as effective, is to take puppy pads and tape them on top of the sheet with dollar store duct tape. Puppy pads only cost about 30 cents each. Age-appropriate bedtime is essential, at least for the time a child is trying for dry. Toddlers need about 12 hours sleep, and to be effective, the bedtime should be the same every night. A recent study in Britain found that inconsistent bedtime definitely contributed to bad daytime behavior in children. A child has to be motivated to keep trying. Classic motivational advice, and this comes naturally to moms, is praise success and overlook failure. If you want to really do it right, and you really only get one or two chances to help your child get dry quickly, follow the steps outlined in my ebook. This usually results in a dry bed in a week or two. It's downloadable for various e-readers and as a PDF or Word document for computer and printing. It's found at bedwedding-solutions.com.